一九九九年开始，在 CK 等品牌设计师的努力下，纽约一跃成为了世界时装周的首站。各路优秀的设计师都想要在纽约展现自己的创意。究竟纽约时装周的魅力在哪里？我们的纽约记者带您了解。每年在巴黎都会有顶级的时装秀，展示高提鞋、阿曼尼、纪梵希、香奈儿等世界品牌设计师的作品。而这些美丽的服装就像是艺术品，昂贵却无法穿在生活中。专家有不同看法。Those often are sort of what inspires what happens then in the ready-to-wear shows or the prêt-à-porter in French.、Um, so definitely, you know, from from a design point of view, the haute couturiers、um, are Uh, affecting what's going to happen in the rest of the market. 专家表示，相对于巴黎时装秀，纽约的奔驰时装秀更贴近消费者，体现实用主义。I think that fashion sort of takes those two things. America is a very functional, very ready-to-wear, very sportswear-driven. Paris might be a little bit more artistic-driven, and that has a lot to do with the business. 近十年来，越来越多人关注时尚网页和搭配达人的博客，让街头风格发挥前所未有的影响力。现在高端设计和街头风格融合，巴黎艺术风搭配实用主义，给时尚界带来新一轮的冲击。People, especially in New York, right, they'll wear a Chanel jacket with a pair of Zara pants, and that wouldn't have never happened. 投身时尚界超过十年的时装市场管理系主任约书亚·威廉姆斯，他认为设计师更好的理解消费者，把握市场走向，也是一门学问。Why stores sell the things that they do, and, and、um, why trends happen in fashion? It's all about the consumer. It's understanding what they want, what they want to wear, how they want to express themselves. 时尚呈现设计师的喜好理念、生活方式和对艺术与美的诠释，会最新一季的顶级设计师作品。新唐人记者陈毅、宋生化，纽约采访报道。